I'm David Long. And I'm Rue Ritchie. And I'm Lexi Lee Long. And we've been attending St. Paul's Episcopal for about seven years now. Mm -hmm. I'm from Tennessee. And I'm from Texas. I'm from New York. That's right. You were born in New York City. Well, we met in the late 80s uh, in Georgetown area of Washington, D.C. And then we lost touch for about 20 years. And when we reconnected, I was living in New York and you were living here on the peninsula. And so whenever we would meet in a new city, we would always try and seek out an Episcopal church for Sunday service. So we had the pleasure of attending service in many different churches all over the country. And then when it came time for me to move out here, one of the things that we knew that we would do is that we would be looking for an Episcopal church here on the peninsula to be our home church. We were looking for something um, that was multi-generational. We were looking for something uh, that would be a good home church for our children. And I think we were looking also for a really warm community. And uh, personally, because I didn't know anyone here in the Bay Area, I was looking for uh, new connections, new friends. And as a new mother, I was also looking for a place to be peaceful for at least an hour a week. Right. How about you? What were you looking for? Uh, the same. I think that uh, when we first visited St. Paul's and met with the rector, we said, you know, once we're in, we're kind of all in. And so we've been uh, been very active in the church. I've been on the church vestry, uh, involved with the property committee, uh, recently was involved in the sound system change out, uh, worked with rummage, and then You've been involved in plenty of stuff too, so. Sure, mom's group and the Christmas pageant. You've been in the Christmas pageant, right? Yeah, I have. What are some of the other things that you've done? Are you in the choir? Yeah, I am. How do you like choir school? It's really fun. Do you have a favorite song? No, I like all of them. I'm sure there's something you want to sing right now, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so yeah, so I, we really enjoyed also to the, um, the excursions to Bishop's Ranch, they've been wonderful because it's allowed us to get to know maybe some parishioners who we might not normally run into, particularly eight o'clockers because we're 10 o'clockers. And um, I've, we've also really enjoyed some of the bowling nights and fundraising causes. Those have been very powerful and meaningful and I've really felt like we've come together as a special group to try and make a difference here on the peninsula. Yeah, um, and then things that the church has done for our family. I think it's brought us together. It's Definitely. introduced us to many other families that many are like us and others are not like us, but we've had a great time getting to know many of the families of St. Paul's. That's mm -hmm. been an important uh, part of our experience. Right, and Lexi, you want to say what your favorite part of St. Paul's was? Um, I like, I usually like sitting in a, um, the, right part and um and reading books actually mm -hmm. it's really fun when i'm reading books and listening to music in the background yeah in the, in the side chapel that's where you read the books during the uh service mm -hmm. coffee hour is not so bad either right yeah it's also my favorite <laughs> there, there there's a lot of really good things <laughs> well we want to see saint paul's not just survive, but we want to see St. Paul's thrive. Uh, as a member of the property committee, I get to see how much it costs just to keep such a big facility running and running well. Uh, and then everything from mission outreach to staff, uh, to newsletters and printing the bulletin. You know, there are some small expenses and large expenses, but they add up. It costs a lot of money to run a church. And the way a church gets paid for is its parishioners uh, tithing and giving. I've come to think of St. Paul's as being my extended family. And just like I would want to support any member of my family, I want to support my family of St. Paul's. It's not just a place that I go for an hour a week. Um, it's also a place that kind of stays with me um, throughout the week uh, in, in, in sort of quiet moments that I have. Um, as well as opportunities to get together with friends and connections uh, from the church uh, throughout the week. So to me, part of giving is a way of just giving back to the community that's given so much to me and to our family. Yeah. Right?
So we invite you during the season of pledging to uh, open your minds and your hearts and think about ways that St. Paul's has given to you and consider ways that you could give back to St. Paul's. Thank you.